Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTuber, Facebookians. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Aries. Today we're doing a book review. Got to return the books at the library soon. Flies for the Western Super Hatches by John Scholemeyer and Ted Leeson. This is uh, borrowed from Interlibrary Loan. That would be Scholemeyer. Yes. Scholemeyer. Scholemeyer. Anyways. First of all, I got to say, this book is one of those, if you're a Western Hatch fly tying thing, this would be a lot better. Um, uh, this has step-by-step -step directions, and it's just literally loaded with flies. Uh, there's probably a good 50 to 100 flies in there. I tried to go through the table. In fact, just for your blue, blue wing Olive, they have the like... So, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 variants. And I just want to say, this talks about the major hatches. It says major hatches. You got your PMDs, your panel mail at morning duns, your western green drakes. It yes. says locally well, important You didn't hatches. ever let me finish my sentence. I said that there's uh, 13 variants of the 13 variants of the blue-winged uh, olive. So... If you're looking for a blue winged olive, not only do you have the blue winged olive, but you have variants of the and blue winged olive. And don't forget, this is just for mayflies. Then you have probably close to a good 50 for caddy flies alone. And if anyone knows, I've done reviews on small things on Orvis. Then you got stone flies, then you got midges, and then you got This is actually a very. Finally, other mm. important food forms. This is actually a very good beginner book because it does do the step by step. It actually shows you from naked hook to the end of the complete thing what you need to do, etc. And, you know, that's why this one is more of a professional and it goes through tools for a beginner. Whereas something like the uh, books that we referred to earlier with the recipes and no pictures in it. Or the recipes with pictures, but it didn't exactly... This at least walks you through them all. So this is more beginner than those are. And it gives you also, just so Aaron knows, for example, for some of you out there, it'll tell you right there, family, genius, like here's the squalas. The squalas, and it shows for you example, what a real one looks on, like. So. Just to be funny, the squala is a local hatch out of Yakima, if you didn't know. So I just clicked it by mistake. It tells you right here, egg laying, what types, inches, etc., hook size. It tells you everything you need to make the squala right here. And it tells you exactly what they look like so that you can actually try to mimic it as best as possible or as crappy as possible. It doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Do I rate this book? I give this 10 out of 10. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'll, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 because it's Western Hatches, and I've not seen a decent book yet. Oh, some of you out there looking for Western Hatches, I did a book review by, uh, uh, hold on, Major Western Hatches by uh, uh, a guy uh, in Oregon who wrote it. I can't remember his name now. Um, but anyways, the book is pretty good, and it's... Um, not John Gearock, it's another, it's uh, someone that did uh, something else. But anyways, he's got a small travel version of it for like 12 bucks. It has all the Western but hatches. Any, anyways, what I wanted to try to say is the reason I gave it 9 out of 10 is because I don't have all the materials for fly tying right now. So I haven't actually been able to test any of these to see if I can mimic or copy it and how simple it is. Because I'm still a beginner fly tire. So this book is probably one that should be right up my alley. And uh, so uh, the reason I give it 9 out of 10 is because I couldn't put it into application. And that's my fault. But not the book's fault. No. Now, maybe if I actually had the ability to do the application, I could sit there and say, hmm, this was really easy to understand and follow or any of that. Since I can't do that, I can't tell you if it's that good. So you're going to have to take a chance on it. I think it's a very good book, particularly uh, for a beginner. The review said that this is a very good book for beginners for uh, Western Super But this hatches. is your review, not other people's no, reviews. No, Amazon, everyone on the Amazon book reviews, oh, as well that. as as well as well Midcurrent, apparently, said this is a perfect book for f beginner fly tying. This came out in 2011, so... Do I recommend this book? Yes, I do. As I said, 10 out of 10. I can't do my... Five out of five stars because he says it doesn't equal. Yeah, up, so. as I said, why give two ratings on it? One that's just half of the other rating, and if they don't match up, they don't match up. So, with that said, yeah, like the this, last one she did, she said three out of five and ten out this of ten, one. Or, or three out of five and uh, seven out of ten. 
Which is close, but it should have been like 2.5 or whatever. See, it was 5 out of 10 and 3 I'm out of 5. I'm a fly five. fisher person, but That's I just right. got to say that when it comes to fly tying, he wants to be the man in it. So I said, okay, this might be a book well, I might have to invest in for his Christmas She present. didn't explain. The reason I'm more into fly tying than fly fishing is because although I like fishing and stuff, I can't do it. I got a service dog, and you try to fish with one hand while you're holding a leash in the other. Yeah, I could put him in a box while I do it, but that's not right, and he's supposed to be there to protect me. I could try to tie him to my foot or something, but in our area, we have snakes all over the place. What if he ends up sniffing in a bush three feet from me, gets bit by a snake, I lose my service dog. I can't go fishing very well. So, it'd be a way for me to be involved with the fishing, but without fishing. And it seems fun, because I love to create things. And so it's the most creative thing I could do when it comes to fishing. So for you fly tires out there, for some of you that fly tires out and uh, tires out there that have subscribed to our channel, I just want to say that if you haven't purchased this book, maybe if you're married or not, you can convince your significant other to buy it for you for Christmas. This might be a good extra bonus for his Christmas since most of his presents have been done. And if you're watching Angela, that would be a good little hint if you, uh, if you're looking for gifts and you don't know what, this would be perfect right down your alley for fly tying for yourself, to purchase for yourself. With that said, everyone, please add subscribe if you like. Please post comments, feedback, suggestions. I give that book 10 out of 10. Thank you, and may God bless the world.